and to use the sort of leverage that that certification does to sort of uh, allow you to get uh, introduced to a whole new set of possible customers. Absolutely true. But, but, but I, I think as I was kind of talking through the inclusion side, the, the disabled veteran and veteran communities, right, especially those that have served in combat theater like I have and, and, and served over the last, you know, 20 plus years, right, the perspective that we bring to the civilian marketplace is very, very unique, Jim. We represent half of 1% of the U.S. population. But our perspective, driven by our experiences, right, by our background, uh, by, by the, the things that we have seen and done, we can bring a great deal of unique value to our civilian counterparties and to the civilian marketplace. And yes, so the, the NVBDC certification identifies us as who we are, right, with our set of experiences. And we may also be ethnic and gender minorities, right? We may, we, we are all disabled uh, Americans, right? But we represent all three of those diversity initiatives. But as we are introduced as an MVBD certified business, our counterparties know they're dealing with a veteran, right? Who brings that perspective. And that perspective I have found to be incredibly valuable in the civilian marketplace and often uh, underrepresented, right? And so it's a great opportunity as an MVBDC certified business to earn uh, consideration from your counterparties based on your identity, on the ethos of your organization. One of the things that I'm always amazed at is it seems that if you're NVBDC certified, and because of the way in which Keith King is the founder of NVBDC is such a, an advocate for veteran-owned businesses, there's a lot of possible networking that can go on and does go on. Have you experienced that, uh, Cal Quinn, founder of Bancroft Capital? Well, that is the very intent of uh, of the consortium, isn't it? Right. I mean, it is the idea of, of collecting individuals who have like mind, right, and and want to be able to uh, to, to partner with veteran-owned businesses, uh, civilian organizations who care about the value of that 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 portion of our our country's population and believe in in their unique ability uh, to deliver valuable services and and as i mentioned you know that that diversified perspective uh, into their organization so collaboration communication networking you know and I, I i loved uh, back when we were able to do it i don't know whether you remember this way back when jim but we'd actually get into a conference hall uh, with the mbvdc group and be able to to share our business and share stories and learn more about our customers and and do it over cocktails and and, and conversations. Those uh, those conferences were incredibly valuable. Now the MBBDC has done a wonderful job of trying to facilitate that in, in a COVID environment. But I'm hopeful, Jim, that we're moving back to the world where we can get face to face again. They tell and me that's they tell me that's going to happen <laughs> this year. I don't know if I'm supposed to talk about it yet, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe it's coming. I believe it's coming. But super exciting because yes, you know that uh, that dialogue of veteran-owned businesses with uh, civilian business counterparts who are interested in our businesses is incredibly valuable. And it's not just valuable to the MVBDC firms. It's also valuable to those civilian organizations as well. Absolutely. And we appreciate uh, Cal Quinn being in the spotlight uh, for NVBDC and his uh, outfit, Bancroft Capital. Cal, I want to turn a little bit now to... Uh, your story. How did a nice kid like you end up at the uh, Naval Academy? Listen to this full episode and more on the Apple Podcasts app, Blog Talk Radio, Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio. And now streaming on Amazon Music, Audible, 